Hi, in this video, let me present you the Trader on Chart software. And, you know, I assure you that it's a, it's the software that will make your Forex trading easy, you know. I know it's, you know, it's quite a bold statement to make, but let me just give me, uh, you know, just give me a few minutes and I will just show you how it really makes your trading easy. So if you are fully into automated trading, then it's not the perfect application for you. But if you use manual trading and you trade more like every day or, or just a few times a week, it's, it's really the perfect app for your meta trader. So it starts with all this panel, you know, it's the trader and chart right here. So the panel has lots of settings and it might be confusing for many of you when you first see it, but let me just tell you that after a few minutes of using the software, you will get used to it pretty fast. You know, I have like hundreds of clients using the same, uh, the same, the same software, uh, for, for years already. And they're, they're very likely uh, that it will happen to you like it happened for them. You know, they are so happy about it. So. Uh, it all starts with these buy and sell buttons. So these are used to execute um, market orders, you know, kind of immediate positions. But also you can execute uh, like place pending orders. So you would use this section right here. So at all times, the section above is used as well. So let me go through each of those settings and let me explain you what they are about. So Right here, you can see we have fixed lot size set, and it's set to uh, 0 0.01. So let's say I would I would set it to 0 0.03, and if we just click buy button, I would get my trade executed immediately. And obviously, it has 0 0.03 lot size. Um, right here, we have close section. You know, if I click this button, it will close all the market trades. This profit you know, button will close all the trades that are in profit. This one will close all the trades that are in loss. And this will delete any pending orders that might exist in the account. So I would just click the you know, market and it will close all the market orders. So let's try again. This time, let's add a stop loss of, let's say, 25 pips and a take profit of, let's say, 60 9.5 so i will click buy trade and immediately it will open the buy trade and will place the stop loss and the take profit that i have set right here so i could try to measure it with my with my mouse right here so yeah it's somewhere about 20 you know it's 25 pep stop loss and you know my measurement is not that exact but yeah it's at 69.5 you know you can do the calculation from these numbers right here you know so again um let's try another setting let's say we have we want a take profit and you know of ratio with a stop loss so let's set it for example three so now when i click a buy button it will open another buy trade but this time it will use the same stop loss of 25th but Take profit will be three times bigger than the stop loss. So let's say I will set this to 0.5. So this will make my take profit to be two times smaller uh, than my stop loss in pips. So I will click buy button again and I see another order open. And here's the, the smaller take profit right now. You know, and again, if I click on the market button, it will close all the market trades. So we can start over. Okay, so let's move further. You know, there are much more than that. If we open this section, we can choose to risk in, in percentage of the count or we can risk in money. So let's say I want to risk, say, $500. And then my stop loss will be 50 pips. And then I want to use let's say take profit and stop loss ratio of two i will have my take profit two times bigger than stop loss i click buy and it calculates immediately that i need a full lot size to risk 500 dollars with a stop loss of 50 
50 pips. If I make my stop loss smaller and then buy another trade, it will open two full lots. So now both of these trades, you know, if they hit stop loss, both of them will lose $500 each. That's how it works. So again, if I want to lose uh, with a, with a third trade, let's say I want to lose, I don't know, $200. And I click buy again. And this time, application calculates that it should be 0.8 position size to lose $200 if the trade hits the stop loss of 25 pips. So, isn't this awesome there? Yeah? Okay, now let's go, let's go further. So let's say I want to risk in percentage. I can just say I want to risk 1% and my stop loss, let's say, is 63, I don't know. And, you know, take profit in pips. Let's say I will leave it open at zero. And let's click the sell trade this time. I click the sell trade and I get my sell trade open. And the lot size is 0.16. So this means that my strat, you know, my order, when it hits stop loss of 63 pips, it will lose 1% of the count. The next important thing to know that this uh, trader on chart has two modes of trading. By default, it is set to use two way trading but you can also choose one-way trading. So what this will do is that it will close all the trades of the opposite position before opening the new one. So again, if I want to execute another sell trade, it will close all the buy trades and only then execute a sell trade. So this is the mode that you should be using on accounts like FXCM broker, you know, the ones from the US re regulations that come from NFI, I think, and, you know, um, those regulations are called first in, first out, and hedging is prohibited on those accounts. So, or just, you know, maybe a strategy tells you to do this. So I just click sell trade, and I see all buy trades closed, and then my sell trade executed again. So now if I click buy trade, all the sell trades get closed, and buy trade open immediately. Obviously, each trade gets set all the stop loss and take profit as they as they appear, you know, uh, in the settings. Additionally, I can apply break even or ta or trailing stop. Now, for trailing stop, it's you know it's quite it's quite obvious. Um, if you don't know how trailing stop works, I I won't go through explanation in this video, just to make it short, you know. But uh, I will just to mention that break even works. In, in in a way that if uh, if your strategy kind of charges you, I mean your broker charges commissions, then trader on chart automatically calculate the size of commissions for your trade uh, and the swap costing for your trade, and it will add a break even point just above you know slightly above the open price. So if the price reverses and gets back at you and closes a trade at break even, then you will, you know, you would get your order closed in a small profit just to cover expenses of your commissions and swap. So this is quite a good feature. And, you know, clients really love it. People love this because you don't, don't need to figure out how many pips to add, you know, in profit and so on. You know, application does this for you. Now let's take a look at the, pending orders. So let me just close this market trade right now. And I will, I will want to place buy stop. Uh, let's say somewhere around this point of right here. So yeah, 1.09 it will be buy stop at exact price. And I want stop loss of 50 and take profit of say 200. And else I want to risk I don't know, $88. And I click place and it will place my pending order. It will calculate the right amount uh, 
of position size, you know, the right position size to lose the to lose eight eight dollars in case it hits stop loss. But obviously, in case it hits take profit, you would make four times than that because my take profit is four times bigger. Uh, my take profit line is not visible. I will have to lower the scale right like this. Yeah, here's my take profit. So again, um, let's try to, to place a sell stop. Let's say I want to play a sell, place a sell stop right here. A to five. Okay. 1.08 to five. And this time I will use take profit of 50 pips, for example, and click the place button. And it just places the, you know, the pending order. And it looks like I just placed it on top of my previous order. Um, I'm a buy stop. Uh, stop loss price. You know, it doesn't matter. I just can click pending right here in the close section and it will close all the pendings. So another cool stuff around this app is that I could use pips distance. So let's say I would say I would want sell stop order placed 20 pips, uh, it, you know, it, at the 20 pips distance from my market price, you no know, current market price. So it clicks place button and 20 pips below it places my sell stop. Obviously it adds a stop loss and take profit as well. Now the cool thing about this is that you can choose buy and sell stops and if I decide to place a 20 pips uh, distance, it will happen like this. I click place button and it will place uh, a buy stop 20 pips above and a sell stop 20 pips below. So this is something that new traders use a lot, you know. So just a few minutes before the trade news released, uh, you just set your desired parameters, you know, the distance, stop loss, uh, position size and so on and you just click place button once and it will place buy and sell stop orders for you at your desired distance so it's really quite useful on the other side if you don't have time to wait for that perfect moment just one a few minutes before news release uh, to place a pending orders you can schedule the trade so let's delete these pending orders I will switch my time frame to one minute just to make it um, to kind of zoom in. And now I will choose that I want to schedule my trade. So I now I need to enter the time. It will be 2016 and it should be a broker time according to the market watch clock right here. So it's January 19 and it's 16. 24 it actually worked with seconds so I can do 23 and for example 40 and then I can say place my two pending orders 10 pips from the distance that will have so I click place button and it creates this horizontal line purple line and it means there's a there's a scheduled order and now at this exact time for 40 seconds, it's just in a couple of seconds, it will place two pending orders from the current price that happened to be at that very exact moment, you know. So you could place this hours or days in the future, kind of. And it doesn't matter what the price is at the moment. The, you know, the important thing that is when you, when the, when the time gets, to your scheduled time of your order, you know, it will get placed and uh, the current price at that very same moment will be used in all the calculations for the position size, for the distances and so on. So right now we got two orders placed and let's close them. So let's try to schedule something else. Let's try to schedule, uh, let's say, fixed lot size of one of 0.22 with stop loss of 10 and take profit of 10 and let's schedule it at 25 minutes and click buy. 
So right now we can see a blue vertical line. It means a buy, buy trade is scheduled. And here it goes. So at, at the right, you know, at the exact time, application executes the scheduled trade at the market price that was at that very same moment, you know. So I hope you guys enjoying the application so far. And, you know, one last thing to show, uh, actually a few, few, few couple of things to show is that it has also OCO option. So this means that I can place two pending orders in opposite directions. And when I have ECO enabled, uh, then the opposite pending order will get canceled the very next moment when the first pending order is executed. So, for example, I have buy pending order and sell, sell stop pending order. If my sell stop gets triggered, then the, the very next moment the buy stop will be cancelled or, or in reverse. You know, if my buy stop is executed, then my sell stop will be cancelled. So, this works very well with news trading as, as well. So, there are a couple more features so we can set take profit in seconds those are for scalpers and we can also set take profit in the exact price and also the same for stop loss we also can set stop loss for, at exact price and also we have an option to, to set stop loss at a high or low of the previously closed price bar and this next one is is the second closed uh, price bar so let's try this one and uh, let me close this in the straight i will switch to a daily chart and zoom in so this will give us a bigger scale so let's say i want to risk hundred dollars and i want to place my stop loss at high or low depending on the trade direction that i will go and my take profit pips should be two times bigger than the stop loss so i'm not sure how big my stop loss will be but no matter how big it will be my take profit will be two times bigger and uh, let's say i will switch to instant execution now and i will click the sell trade i click sell and immediately it opens a sell trade and then it places a stop loss right here just exactly at the high price of the last closed bar and now I can see that my stop loss is about 53 pips so this makes my take profit to be around 106 pips isn't it cool yeah so let's try another one Let's try high low two. So this should play should use the second closed bar price bar high right right over there as a stop loss. So let's say I will use TP and SL ratio of one that my take profit should be of the same size as my stop loss and click the sell button again. Immediately places another sell trade. And just like I was saying my stop loss was placed right at this uh, high price and my take profit is of the same size as the stop loss so my stop loss is about 110 pips and my take profit is 110 pips as well so obviously both both trades had position sizes calculated exactly to kind of lose uh, you know hundred dollars so let me do a small experiment you know it's it's always kind of hard to demonstrate how all these uh, options work but if i make my stop losses quite small i might i might succeed so let's say i will i will set my stop loss at five pips and my take profit at five pips as well or may i no it's it's I take profit and stop loss ratio actually so I will make it two so it should be 10 pips and then I will open a buy trade 
and now it shows to have a lot size of 2 and this means that if my stop loss gets hit of 5 pips the trade should lose approximately $100 so let's you know uh, and if it hits take profit obviously it should win two times than that you know it should win $200 because my take profit is two times bigger than my stop loss so while this trade uh, is running I hopefully it will hit stop loss soon it usually happens when you don't expect it you know but now that I'm waiting for it to uh, to hit stop loss it might never happen actually yeah <laughs> but well you know when you use such application it really makes the trading easier for sure you know because you can load it on as many charts as you want and uh, you know you can just switch switch between charts so let me show you you know I can I can open for example dollar franc and I can add application as well I just drag it on the chart I put my license key click OK application will load and now I have application on the second chart as well so I can you know play trades too so now I can even go to the to the um, euro dollar chart and click this little hard button right here what this makes is that it saves um, the settings as default and, and now if I go to other instance of trader and chart and click this arrow right here it will load the default settings so as you can see all the same settings were loaded from the previous instance of the euro dollar also there is this button right here that can hide the panel kind of minimize it or the same effect happens if you click on that uh, right at the top so again you know uh, really really powerful software for sure so now I could you know open even more charts if I wanted to so it's really 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 useful uh, let's see how our trade is doing oh it's it's going up yeah not much left 